Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Among the topics that I take time to discuss with players that need advice, there is surely the Sunset Canyon and the Lost Canyon. I mean, let's be honest. The rewards for playing Canyon are not exciting at all. If you end up first in Sunset Canyon, you get one gold key, five hours of training speedups, and some EXP books. Not many. At the end of the week you'll get few more of those, but still it's not really something compelling that you say, okay, I need to invest a lot of energies trying to end up on the top. I mean, we all know that the rewards need some love to be buffed by the developers. Similar story if we go and check the Lost Canyon. I mean, there are the blueprints, which honestly we all have after so many KVKs, there are some very expensive stars and some materials. Again, not many. If you have a decent ranking, let's say you stay in the top 200 towards the entirety of the KVK, you will still manage to clear part of the shop that you need. For example, a couple blueprints, an outer frame, few materials chests. Uh, the fact is that the rewards for this event have not been updated for a long time. So why competing in Canyon? Well, this game mode can be fun. And uh, it can push you to explore the boundaries of your commander pairings, your equipment and much more. You just need to observe carefully and act consequently. Now, on this channel I've already made a video about Sunset Canyon, card up on the top if you want to watch it, but essentially I would like to discuss about a metagame evolution that we have been experiencing lately. And I would also like to speak about the commander synergies, the positioning order and few other things that you should take into account, hoping that these will be helpful and will answer to few questions that you may have. Before that, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and activating the bells for notifications, it's free and you can always change your mind. Let's go! So. Let's start with the metagame evolution. If you watched my previous canyon guide, you know that to form a competitive team, you need few elements, and our friend Rion right here has the perfect example of a team that was and still is part of the Sunset metagame. In the specific, he has one, a strong healing tank, in this case, Richard and Leonidas, two, a strong buffer who can resist throughout the entire battle to keep buffing your other marches, so there is no better example than Constantine and Joan of Arc. 3. A strong archer march who can deal with infantry and at the same time does not die quickly. Artemisian Ramses are another perfect example because they deal a ton of damage, but they also benefit a lot from the defense tree. A lot of tanky stats thanks to Artemisia, I remember that she has plus 20% defense and plus 20% health, and of course the skill damage reduction provided by Ramses. 4. A couple strong debuffers and damage dealers. Guanyu and Alex and Edelfed with YSG are extremely strong in debuffing, silencing, protecting and fighting back with a lot of area of effect damage and all the other good stuff. The metagame has evolved. And very frequently, we find combinations that play with statistics without giving up to everything else. If we take a look to this lineup, or this one, or this other lineup right here, you can see that things have changed and moved around a bit, but they are still all there. Removing Leonidas from behind Richard and putting a Trajan as second is a great solution if you still have your buffer ready. I think that Trajan has a particularly good synergy with Mulan, because while Trajan gives you rage and extra skill damage, Mulan will still give you all the extra stats that you need. So it's like, for example, splitting your Joan of Arc in two and distributing her benefits over two commanders, but in a stronger way, while moving Leonidas on the back of Guan Yu in order to make him tankier to let him deal more AoE damage and at the same time supply to the fact that you will be missing Alex's shield. In this case Baba has still an Alex in the lineup, but that's not essential. Often Zlaudi is first, but then he goes back down and the same is for other players. They alternate the rankings very often. And uh, why is that? The only difference when the top players have the commanders 
all the commanders and the equipment is just on field positioning, but mostly luck. If you have a lucky round of effects activating at the beginning of a battle in a 5 vs 5 scenario, that will eventually snowball. The thing you can do is to reflect on the commander choices and especially on the small details. For example, Richard with Leonidas is extremely popular in Canyon. But have you seen people running the opposite, like Leonidas with Richard in the back? I've seen it many times and I bet you did as well. And it was not a level issue, so for example they had Leonidas level 60 and Richard level 40. They just thought, okay, they have the same identical talent trees, at least the part that we use, infantry and defense. If we go over to Leonidas, we see that's the same. And I don't need either garrison or versatility anyway, so having one first over the other is not going to make a difference. Well, wrong. If we take a look to the active skills, we can see that Richard's active skill heals your slightly wounded units, while if we go back on Leonidas, you can see that Leonidas deals AoE damage and gives you a health bonus. But on what is the damage dealt based on? It's based, of course, among other factors, on the number of troops that you have left. Of course, you are gonna deal more damage with 100,000 troops compared to, for example, 90,000 troops. And if you heal your troops first, thanks to your Richard active skill, this will consent you to have more troops available and then deal more damage with Leonidas active skill. Think about it, just some food for your thoughts. If you want to build your personal canyon team without having all the commanders, I mean, I don't have all the commanders right here, just think about all the components that I illustrated just before. A healing tank, a strong buffer, a strong tanky archer or cavalry march, strong debuffers and damage dealers, that's it. You can try and have fun even with epic commanders. I hope this video was helpful, if yes, consider subscribing not to miss out to the future content. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!